Take to the hoop, basketball fans, with 27 of the biggest stars in the NBA, including the likes of Isaiah Thomas, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Carl Malone, and more. Five exciting ways to play. One-on-one, the free throw competition. Horse, an accuracy shootout, which is different from a horse, I guess. An all-star tournament and see who's the best in the NBA. You've always dreamed of shooting the hoops with the pros, crashing the boards, slamming one home, or winning the game with a three-pointer. Take the NBA All-Star Challenge. The ball's in your court. Use the Game Boy Game Link for head-to-head b-ball action, don't you know? And this is NBA All-Star Challenge from Beam Software and LJN Limited, released in December of 1992. Also available on the Game Boy and the Genesis and part of the NBA All-Star franchise. Now, a lot of people hear Beam Software and LJN and they think, oh, this is terrible. Let me tell you something. This game is really not that bad. We had this when I was a kid. Fairly certain. And while it's got an interesting take on a basketball game um really it's not terrible it plays pretty well uh the controls take a little getting used to but i think using a half court uh setup was unique and it kind of let you get away with being able to put more in and still being able to have a good view of the court at all time. None of that shifty back and forth kind of stuff like we saw in the NCAA games we looked at a while ago or some of the other uh, basketball games. Um, we It's all one-on-one, whether it's two points for a time limit, playing horse, uh, three-point shootout uh, attempt, um, or a tournament, the winner of each match uh, can move on to the next if you do the tournament mode of course uh, you can rematch uh, you don't choose players by name you choose by their team and uh, this was kind of one of the things that was dinged on a little bit because a lot of people didn't know like who does Isaiah Thomas play for not everybody knew he played for the Pistons so that was kind of a thing um, vital statistics are related uh, to gameplay like height and weight and the number of points you score in a typical game as well as accuracy a more accurate shooter will shoot more accurately in this game than someone who's not uh, the Dutch video game magazine Power Unlimited gave it an 80% rating in its January 94 issue and the website Sega 16 gave the Sega version 20% so yeah, um, it's got some some flaws for certain, but it looks pretty good. It sounds pretty good. It has uh, speech in it, digitized speech. Uh, all the fouls that you can do, like minor fouls, like goaltending. It's got the weird definition of traveling, um, and that this is half court. You have to clear the ball, and if you don't know what that means. The ball hits the rim or whatever, and you get a defensive rebound. You have to run to the bottom of the screen and then run back. Basically, it's taken a... It makes the game a full court, if you don't know. Uh, I don't think it's terrible. It could certainly be better, but it is not terrible. 